Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Megan Roth and I have toothpaste on my shirt. I have used all Urban Decay products on my eyes because it is finally coming to Australia at Mecca Maxima on the 27th of this month. I think that is a Friday, this coming Friday. And I'm so super and excited. I have been waiting for Urban Decay for like three years now to come to Australia. And whenever I have family or friends fly over to America, I, I always ask them to get me this massive pile of shopping because they have it in America or the price here is like a million more dollars for it. And I'm so excited because it's going to be coming here and I won't have to wait ages for it to come or pay for like $50 shipping or whatever and I'm so excited. Take a breathe, me. I've had this for a while now and the look that I made is actually my go-to look for this palette. Oh, oh my god! Can you stop doing that? Oh, how long? That is so embarrassing. Anyways, I really really hope that you enjoyed. I apologize if you can hear my fan. It's a million degrees right now and I just could not film without the fan on and also with all these lights in front of me I'm like boy bling. I don't want to keep you waiting for any much longer, so let's just get straight into the video. Bye! First things first, I'm going to use my Revlon Beyond Natural Smoothing Primer. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation, and I'm in the shade W30, and I'm just going to pop that on the back of my hand, and I'm going to be using a... Sigma Flat Top Kabuki Brush F80. I'm gonna pop this all over my face. Whenever I put on my foundation, I remind myself of pop art. So I'm just going to press that into my skin to give me the most fullest amount of coverage. I don't like to wear this foundation if I'm going to be wearing it all day because um, it's not the best for oily skin. It's really, really, really good for dry and combo skin just because it's so like dewy. But yeah, I don't really like it if I'm going to be wearing it the whole day. So I have to make sure that I set it so good. Wherever I need extra coverage, I'm just going to put a little bit more foundation on. For my eyebrows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. And I'm going to be using a Sigma Small Angle Brush, and this is a E65. This looks like that. So what I like to do first is just draw the line underneath my brows, and then I start to fill in the middle because when you first start to put your eyebrows on you always always go heavy handed first so it's good to do it in the middle and then start to work on the tail and then what with ever is left on the brush start to fill in the front of your brow But now just using the end of my Brow Wiz by Anastasia, I'm just going to use the spoolie that's on the end and I'm just going to brush through them. But to perfect my eyebrows even more, I'm going to use this detailer brush by Real Techniques. It just has a really, really small um, tip. So to make my eyebrows even sharper, I'm going to... Do the underneath as well. You can also do this um, if you accidentally overdraw your eyebrows, you can use this to fix them up. Ah. See how this one's like more on point? For the 
eye primer base, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And this is just to make sure that the eyeshadow lasts all day. I reckon the packaging is so cute. Ah! And to blend that out, I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. From the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. I'm going to be using this colour here called Tease and I'm going to be using this above my crease. It just looks like that. And then with the Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush, I'm just going to blend that upwards. Again from the Naked 2 palette, I'm going to be using this shade here in the shade Chopper and I'm using a Sigma Eye Shading E55 brush and I'm going to pop that on the lid. Then with my Astralis Makeup Finishing Sprit, wet the brush, and then I'm going to be dabbing that brush in the exact same colour and putting it on the eyelids again to really intensify that colour. Then I'm going to be grabbing this colour here which is Snake Bite. And using the same brush that we used for the crease, the beige shadow brush, I'm going to just put that in the outer V. I'm just going to blend everything together again. We'll finish the eyes later after we finish the rest of our base. So next I'm going to be highlighting. I'm going to be trying this e.l.f. under eye concealer and highlighter little duo. One side is a cream colour and the other side is white. Um, I don't know how this will go. White shade is actually shimmery and the cream side is more of a highlighting one for under the eyes. So I'm going to just make a little triangle under my eyes. If you bring it up to here, it actually pulls up your cheekbones and it makes them look higher. Like that Angelina Jolie kind of cheekbone. They are goals. This might look like a lot of concealer, but the consistency is really, really thin. And plus, I'm going to be using a damp sponge, so it's going to soak up any excess as well. And my old beauty blender, it actually um, broke. So I'm using this new one from Real Techniques and this is called a Miracle Complexion Sponge and it says it will give you high definition results and I'm excited to test this out. So yes, it's damp and one side there's a little flat surface so it's really good for underneath the eyes. This headband that I'm wearing today is actually from Mimco and it was $50 and it got reduced to $10. I was like, hallelujah, I need that in my life. Yes, please. I'm really, really, really loving this sponge. It's so soft. It has gotten all the extra stuff that I accidentally put on my face. And it's blending everything out really well and it's not taking off my, fa my foundation. But the highlighter, however, is actually not that brightening. It's actually just making my under eyes look really dewy. Like, can you see that? Like that little shiny bits? I'm not liking that one bit. Do not recommend this e.l.f. under eye concealer and highlighting. To fix that up, I'm going to be using my Instant Age Rewind um, under eye concealer. And this is in the 
shade Light Pale. You can't just have the concealer under your eyes, you have to balance it out all over your face where you naturally catch the light. So that is on your chin, on your cupid's bow, down the bridge of your nose and on your forehead, just in the middle. Now I can finish off the rest of my eyes. I'm going to be going back into the colour snake bite. So that's what we put on the outer part of our feet. And I'm just going to be using a Napoleon smudging and sculpting brush and putting that on my lash line. Oh my god, why am I so itchy? Oh, I want to itch it, but I can't with my makeup. Okay, it's gone. Now I'm going to be using this um, Sigma Pencil E30 brush and I'm going to spray this with the Charlotte's Makeup Finishing Spirits again to get it wet and so it picks up the most pigments from the eyeshadow and I'm going to be using this colour here and this is in the shade Booty Call and I'm going to be using this as my inner highlight. This is actually very similar to Mary Lou by The Balm. If you put a lighter eyeshadow in the corner of your eyes it really 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 opens up your eyes and then I'm just going to tap off whatever's left on the brush and I'm going to be using the first color and this is in the shade boxy it's just a matte white and I'm going to be using that under my eyebrow bone and the reason why we highlight our eyebrow is because it makes the eyebrow look more lifted and it actually helps define the eyebrow even more. And I'm just going to blend those two colours together so there's no harsh line. For mascara, I'm going to be using the MAC Zoom Fast Black Lash Mascara. I actually didn't like this at first, but then I kept using it. And now I love it. And I want to buy the full size. Like This is just a sample. I've got a million and one samples from Macy's because I made a massive order and because I ordered so much they gave me samples from like every single brand. This is what happens if you don't concentrate while doing your mascara. Now to fix mascara all over your face where it's not meant to be, you can fix it by using a Her name's Fifi. She's a little fluff ball. Anyways, but you can use a cotton tip and after the mascara is dried, you just roll the cotton tip and it picks up the mascara and hardly any of the foundation. Ta-da! Mascara free on the Oh, and I almost forgot, um, I'm using the Maybelline Color Show um, Eye Pencil in the color 410 Chocolate Chip. And I'm just going to put this on my waterline. You could use a flesh tone color or a white color if you want, but I'm just feeling the dark side today. To set my under eyes today, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eyes Setting Powder. And if you saw my unboxing video, you saw me drop half of this. But it's okay, because I still have half left. Now I'm going to be using the Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush in F35. The reason why you set underneath your eyes is so your concealer doesn't crease throughout the day because you don't want all those lines popping out, do ya? No. But I'm also going to be using this powder for everywhere else where I highlighted.
for the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Face of Australia Press Powder in the shade Tan. Oh, did I hit Pan? Yeah, I hit Pan. <laughs> and I'm going to be using the Sigma Large Powder F30 brush. This is my favourite powder brush in the whole entire world. If you accidentally use a foundation that's too light for your skin, you could actually fix it up with a coloured pressed powder. And I recommend this one because it is so good. And it's from Priceline as well, so it's not like a million dollars. To contour, I'm going to be using the Bahama Mama by The Balm and the NARS Eater Brush, Eater Brush whatever you want to call it with this shader brush I'm just going to get that same bronzer as well make sure to tap off all the excess and I'm going to contour the nose using this um, what is this? this is, I know this is by New by Nature I'll link the name down below because I don't know what it is at the moment and I'm just going to use this to blend out that bronzer and then just to finish up the rest of my face I'm just going to be using the contour brush by Real Techniques same bronzer and just putting it on my temples and going down and meeting up with where you first contoured. Do you have a look Sweetie. I'm going to put the same bronzer under my jawline just to give me that really really sharp mum came in. What's I saying? Oh yeah, for really 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 sharp jawline. Give me that strong jawline game. If you want to see how I fully, fully, fully go into contouring and highlighting in just a video just by itself, so I can talk about how to really contour, where to contour, and all that stuff, and the best products and the best brushes, let me know in the comments below and I will definitely do that for you. One of my friends has already asked me to make a video about that, but if you really, really want me to, I will, so leave a comment below. For blush, I'm going to be using the 10 color palette by PH Cosmetics and this is the palette Glamorous Blush. And I'm going to go with this shade here. This is a really, really nice plummy color. Um, great for autumn. I'm going to be doing some autumn looks soon with um, the best blushes and lipsticks and stuff. I'm really excited to film that. I'm getting some inspiration at the moment and I might even do a lookbook if you want. For highlighter I'm going to be using this MAC one and guess what this is? This is soft and gentle. Like, Pretty sure this is their number one highlight. It's absolutely gorgeous. Like, Let me swatch this for you. Like, can you see that? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> and I'm going to be using this e.l.f. fan brush. This was also my unboxing video. I was so, 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 so excited for this. And I've been using it every time I've been highlighting. And I'm never going back to a different brush. Like fan brushes are absolutely amazing. I'm also going to put a little bit above my eyebrow eyebrows because I have two <laughs> and there's a tiny bit of my cute spray. I'm going big and bold for the lips today. I'm going to be using this lip liner by Jordana and this is in the shade blush red and I'm just going to outline my lips and I just filled in my um, corners as well because I find it really hard to put my lipstick in there 
I'm going to be using the MAC Matte Lipstick in Ruby Roo. This is my favourite, favourite, favourite red colour, but it is so drying on the lips that it can make them look crap. I'm going to be using my EOS Lip Balm. This is the Summer Fruit one, I think. I think so. And this lip balm actually isn't good for moisturising your lips, even though the company is called Evolution of Smooth. It doesn't make your lips smooth at all. The consistency of this lip balm is actually waxy. Like, it makes my lips feel waxy. So it's a really, really, really good base for matte lipsticks from MAC. Because this lipstick is so red and so vibrant, it's easy to see all the mistakes you made. So I'm just going to fix up these edges with a Real Techniques accent brush. To fix it up, I'm just putting a little bit of foundation on the brush and just fixing up the line. If you want, you can leave it like this or you can put on some lashes. The lashes that I've decided that I'm going to be using today, this is just by the brand Lashes. This, <laughs> this is in the Lash Victoria. These are from Kmart and they were $4.50. Like, hells yeah. My Ardell ones from Priceline are like $10. And this is half the price. I was like, not gonna say no to that. I really need to concentrate while I'm putting on my lashes, but if you want a really, really in-depth tutorial as well, um, let me know and I can teach you how to correctly put on eyelashes, how to maintain them and clean them, and also um, how to cut them, how to, you know, put them on and all that stuff. This glue is really, really tacky and stringy already, like it's making such a mess. I really like these eyelashes. I can see some of my eyebrow hairs drooping down. So I'm just going to use my Jordana um, mascara brow. And I'm just going to set them into place so they're not moving. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this makeup look. I really like it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and to subscribe so you know when I'm going to upload a video next. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do any videos. Um, give me some requests so I know what you guys want to see. Fifi, do you want to say anything? No, you just want cuddles. Cuddles, Fifi. The weather in Queensland has been ridiculously like. Ri the weather in Queensland has been ridiculous. The weather in Queensland has been ridiculous, 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 ridiculously.